CM by common division method. Today we will learn how to find LCM by the common division method. But before that, let us revise finding the LCM by the prime factorization method which we learned last year. Let us find the LCM of 25, 15, 30. We begin by finding the prime factorization of each number. You can find it either by repeated division or by building the factor tree. Here we get the prime factorization of 25 as 5 into 5. 15 as 3 into 5 and 30 as 2 into 3 into 5. Step 2. Circle the common prime factors occurring in all the numbers. Here, the common prime factor is 5. Step 3. Underline the remaining common prime factors of any two numbers. Here, we get the remaining common factor as 3. Step 4. List the uncommon prime factors of all the numbers. Finally, the uncommon factors are 2 and 5. Step 5. The LCM is the product of the common prime factors of all the numbers. Remaining common prime factors of any two numbers and uncommon prime factors of all the numbers. Thus, LCM of 25, 15 and 30 is equal to 5 into 3 into 2 into 5 is equal to 150. Now, let us see how to find the LCM by the common division method. Let us find the LCM of the same numbers, that is 25, 15 and 30 by this method. Here we would be finding the prime factors of all the numbers together. Step 1. Divide the numbers by the smallest prime number which divides at least one of the numbers. Begin with the smallest prime number, that is 2. Here, number 30 is divisible by 2 and 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15. Kids, any number that is not divisible by a prime factor is brought down as it is. Here, numbers 25 and 15 are not divisible by 2. So, we bring them down as they are. Step 2. Continue dividing the quotients by the least common prime factor till you get 1 as the quotient for all the numbers. Now we take the next prime number that is 3. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So we write 5 below both the 15s. But here as number 25 is not divisible by 3, we bring it down as it is. The next prime number which we take is 5. So, 25 divided by 5 
is equal to 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Again, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Now, we have 5 as the dividend. It is a prime number. So, divide 5 by 5, we get 1. Now, we have 1 as a quotient for all the numbers. Step 3. The product of the prime factors of all the numbers gives the LCM. Thus, LCM is equal to 2 into 3 into 5 into 5, which is equal to 2 raised to the power of 1 into 3 raised to the power of 1 into 5 squared, which is equal to 150. Now, let us solve another example. Find the LCM of 21 and 63. We begin with 3 as both the numbers are not divisible by 2. Thus, 21 divided by 3 gives 7 and 63 divided by 3 gives 21. We again divide by 3 as 21 is divisible by 3. Bring down 7 as it is and write 7 below 21. Now we divide by 7 to get the quotients of both the numbers as 1. Thus, LCM is equal to 3 into 3 into 7, which is equal to 3 squared into 7 raised to the power of 1, which is equal to 63. Remember, 1. Any number that is not divisible by a prime factor is brought down as it is. 2. If two numbers do not have a common factor other than 1, their LCM is the product of the numbers. 3. The LCM of two numbers of which one is a multiple of the other, is the larger number. Kids, now try some examples and find the LCM by common division method on your own.